Hi, Homer. <sighs> What's the matter, Mo? Ah, business is slow. People today are healthier and drinking less. You know, if it wasn't for the junior high school next door, no one would even use the cigarette machine. Yeah, things are tough all over. Increased job satisfaction and family togetherness are poison for a purveyor of mind-numbing intoxicants like myself. Can I get a beer? Ah, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, sorry, I forgot we're out of beer. <laughs> Whoa, I know. I got behind on my beer payments. The distributor cut me off, and I spent my last ten grand on a love tester. <coughs> You're too late, Homer. Barney sucked it dry. Cut his gums up pretty bad. Oh. Take it easy, Homer. I learned how to make other drinks at bartender school. <coughs> Gin and tonic? Do they mix? Hey, I know a good drink. Really hits the spot. I invented it myself. One night, Marge's beastly sisters were showing slides from their latest vacation. And this is Patty trying to plug her leg razor into one of those ungodly Czechoslovakian outlets. As you can see, we never did get the hang of it. Ay, caramba! As I stared up at that hairy, yellow drumstick, I knew I needed a drink. Patty, Selma, would you excuse me for a moment? If you're going for a beer, this is the last one. Don't! I decided to mix the little bits that were left in every liquor bottle. In my haste, I had grabbed a bottle of the kids' cough syrup. It passed the first test. I didn't go blind. They say everyone can float in the Dead Sea, but Selma sank right to the bottom. Huh? I don't know the scientific explanation, but fire made it good.